guys, Sash Boss here, and today I'm wearing my Fiend Bray Wyatt t-shirt uh, because last night I was in the Thunderdome. Well, guys, if you don't, if you do not know what the Thunderdome is, you're about to find out right now. Hey guys, WWE's Thunderdome is a um, is a thing where all the fans can get together virtually and go to a WWE live event. I signed up for Raw and I got to go at 10:30 last night, and which was a lot of fun. Um, pretty much, it's really hard to get into the Thunderdome. You sign up with your email, and then you have to um, click the link, where they give you the link when you officially signed in. It was pretty simple for me to sign in. I signed in on Friday afternoon at 2:30. Uh, I believe I got in the Thunderdome. It was a lot of fun, seriously, guys. I love every single moment of the Thunderdome, guys. It was crazy. Uh, some of the things I saw, uh, the first match I watched the Thunderdome, which uh, I watched the whole show of Raw last night, obviously. I watched Matt Riddle and the uh, and Sheamus qualify for the Survivor Series match at, uh, at in Raw. I, I thought that match was pretty good. Um, I could see myself cheering and we got a boo for Sheamus. It was really cool to finally get a boo at someone, finally. Um, I feel like... Uh, the whole Thunderdome is set up to be like the WWE stage creator kind of thing um, where the stage manager kind of talks to you about what's going on. It's like, so okay, okay everybody, uh, can we please have the uh, place your center screen like this and uh, boo for Seamus. I want a heavy booing. Boo. And so much like, yeah, we need more energy. We need more energy. Yeah. 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 And it was all sorts of fun things. It was really cool, seriously. I saw Drew McIntyre uh, on the moment of bliss last night. It was really cool. The Fiend showed up. It was awesome. Um, I really enjoyed the Thunderdome. Would I do this again? Yes, definitely. I would join the Thunderdome no matter what. I put some pictures right now after this clip to show you some of the things I did in the Thunderdome. It was crazy. Um, the thing about the Thunderdome I like um, is there's no commercials. It feels faster than the actual watching Raw. And it's way faster than you think. Because, like, if you go to a regular WWE a live event, you know, if you're watching Raw or SmackDown actually at the, like, arena you're in your city or wherever country you're in, uh, or sometimes they go to England. So your commercial breaks on the USA Network are about, like, two minutes long, you know? Uh, typically, if we go to an actual WWE event, commercials are kind of, like, sprinkled in, almost like a fast commercial break, kind of like the lights dim. Sometimes the matches might be going on at that time, or some entrances coming out for different things, which is really cool during a commercial. Um, I really, I really enjoyed the Thunderdome and what it, what it could do for WWE. I appreciate what WWE. Uh, my final reason why I really like Thunderdome, the Thunderdome is, it, it, I actually feel like you're actually getting conducted to do a WWE event by like getting asked, uh, ask the chair, ask the boo. Um, uh, Finishing the segments. I really enjoyed that. Um, the stage manager is really cool. I really like the stage manager guy. His voice is cool. Like, kind of conducting everybody. That's one thing a really big, big takeaway of the Thunderdome is. The other bummer is you can't really see yourself on the Thunderdome because it's filled with thousands of people on the dome. I think I might be on the tippy tippy top of the Thunderdome, but I'm not sure for real. I thought it was an amazing experience what I could do with the Thunderdome. I loved it. I also wore my championship belts in the Thunderdome. I thought it was cool. Um, I really appreciated uh, my parents watching Raw last night with me to see if I was on the Thunderdome or not. Honestly, I feel like this was one of the coolest experiences of 2020 in my, in my opinion. I signed up for the Thunderdome and went in it, and it was breathtaking. I love Raw. I love WWE, obviously, but Raw was okay last night, but... I really, I'm really, really happy of uh, Thunderdome. I still got my Survivor Series predictions because I think it's super easy. This one, um, Raw versus SmackDown, which is super easy just to glitch off the card. I just Google and know some uh, know stuff on top of my head. So that card would be super easy to make. I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, guys, the uh, punishment for um, each in the cell will come out after Halloween, so that will be that Thursday, okay? That Thursday. Put market calendars so that Thursday after Halloween. Um, that will be uh, where I do the punishment uh, for each in the cell. Also, guys, hope you guys really subscribe to this boss and more videos like this in the future. Also, I got Annabelle today in my calendar, but I really appreciate what WWE can do for the fans of the WWE community who can never go to a Raw event and actually do it virtually. I think it's a fun experience for everybody who loves WWE and misses going to an actual live show. This is what it pretty much felt like. You're actually there, but you're watching your screen virtually and you're cheering and you're booing and 
you yes chanting or chanting. Um, I feel like it's everything we always wanted for WWE, and we actually be be together as a community again. That's one thing I'm really appreciative of WWE. We can actually be together as a whole, and we can be like a family. Um, WWE is for everybody, you know. Everybody loves WWE. I love wrestling, and in conclusion, it's a great event for everybody. Great for your whole family, seriously. Um, I'm making it now, so if you guys should subscribe, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching. Peace.